All right. Um, you've also recorded a live DVD, I think, one or two years ago in Leipzig. Mm -hmm. What whatever happened to this material? It's a finished. It's completely finished, and um, we're just working out like kind of like the contracts and stuff now. It took a while to finish, but it's actually been finished for about five or six months and we've just been trying to sort out like all the paperwork and also trying to figure out we did a cover song on it we did sunday bloody sunday a u2 song you have to get sync rights you have to get author authorization from the band themselves so it's just like all this stuff to just take so long to to finish so hopefully it will be out in early uh next year okay. that's the goal i mean i thought for sure it was going to be out by now i thought for sure it was going to be out last summer but it's just it, sometimes the stuff just drags on It's just not falling off the edge. Yeah. It's going to be no, out. No, no, no. Yeah, it's, we've put so much time and energy and work into it that um, that it has to come out. Otherwise, I'll kill somebody. <laughs> okay, you also said that, that you tour a lot with Ignite, which is very obvious. You come to Europe a lot. Um, is there is there any country that you particularly like in Europe? Is there any kind of crowd that is particularly spectacular or crazy? Or is there a lame crowd somewhere? <laughs> I mean, the crowds are great everywhere for us you know we've been lucky very very lucky in our careers to be able to come to europe and have success from you know as far east as moscow to as far west as you know lisbon and up to norway down to athens i mean it's it's been amazing that we've been able to have so much success in europe so um i mean the crowds are are generally generally really big for us in you know germany holland belgium hungary um poland's really good um those those shows in those countries are always really big places we really enjoy going you know we're california guys we grew up pretty much on the beach we love going to like spain italy portugal places where we can go after sound check and go to the beach i don't know those are always like my favorite places we like you know south america brazil places like that you know where you can go see the coast do you surf uh no i don't okay um so um zoli kind of talks a lot about you know, home and where you're coming from and uh, nationality. And he, uh, he talks a lot about his Hungarian roots. Yep. Uh, do you feel kind of the same? Uh, do, do you have some Scandinavian roots stretching from your last name? Well, I'm like seven generations removed from Europe. Okay. So um, my family's been in America for years. So I talk about California a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about California as much as Zoli talks about Hungary, right. which is fine with me. Um, also, I mean, besides touring a lot, you guys do find a lot of time for some side projects, which I'd like to talk mm -hmm. some more in depth now. I mean, the the most pressing question might be right now, Zoli singing for Pennywise. Yes. Um, I've, I've seen an interview with Fletcher saying that Zoli would be his dream candidate to, to be the full-time singer of Pennywise, um, which would kind of probably put a problem out there to have both bands, or what do you think about it? I think it'd be amazing. I think if Zoli was the front man for Pennywise, I mean, I think he's a great replacement for Jim, you know? Pennywise, those guys are really good friends of ours. I like all those guys. Jim's a cool guy. All the guys in the band, Fletcher, Byron Randy, I've known those guys for years. Um, they've always been really cool to us, take, taking us out on the road um, all over North America. So I think if Zoli had the opportunity to sing in that band, it would be great. I think it'd be good for everybody. You know, I think it'd be good for Pennywise because Zoli's such a great singer uh, and he's done a couple shows with them already and it sounded amazing. And I think it'd be good for Ignite too because I think it would expose Ignite to a lot of Pennywise fans. They obviously have a lot more fans worldwide than Ignite does. So um, yeah, I think it'd be a win win situation for everybody you, you don't you don't think there there would be a contradiction like a time you know a, a dedication for ignite and for pennywise to have two bands full full time i you know i think there's a way to make anything work i think pennywise tours you know full time for them is five or six months a year you know i think you know working around that would be no problem i think we'd be able to tour and and do everything ignite that we could normally do you know and it also gives a time you know because i'm me and nick from ignite are doing a new project as well so the time is only if it ends up working out we you know with the pennywise thing it would be great because you know we're doing something during that time anyway so right that was going to be my next question uh, nick and you are playing in nations of fire yeah. you before that you played in last of the believers right Yeah, really briefly. That was a little side project that was just, you know, one little five song EP and one tour. That was pretty much all that that band was. And that was also the plan to just have an EP out there and not go on longer. For Last of the Believers, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So tell us more about uh, Nations of Fire. 
Um, you know, I met Chris, the guitar player who was in Rise Against. Um, we met him 10 years ago on the on a Misfits tour in America. It was a Misfits Ignite, and his band at that time reached the sky. And um, then he ended up joining Rise Against, doing two records with them. And uh, we, you know, kind of kept in contact on and off during that whole time. And he moved out to California, left Rise Against, wanted to start a new thing. So, you know, we I started working with him, and then... Uh, yeah we just he recruited todd that we knew from death by stereo and um then we found a singer and it's been really cool it's been it's moved really fast you know we were together for like two months and then came and did a european tour played the girls rock festival had a lot of success things have been going great in america we just got finished off of a strung out tour in the states and uh you we have our self-released ep out and you know we're um looking to uh, put a record out hopefully sometime next year as well Okay, cool. So uh, there are definitely, definitely plans to go on with that and uh, yeah, keep, keep the project going. Yeah, for sure, yeah. All right, um, I think that's uh, the majority of our questions here. Cool. Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks a lot um, for, I mean, stopping by here in Dresden. <laughs> it's uh, fun to have the tour it's here. And have you, see, have you been able to see something of the city? Yeah, I just walked around the whole Christmas market tonight, and it was great. Really cool environment out there. You know, it's a fun city. I've been here a few times before, but um, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful place. Old city. Yeah, it is. Well, cool. Yeah, um, thanks a lot for your time again, and uh, all the best for 2010, and hope to see you soon here. And uh, this was Yanko for Heartbeat TV uh, interviewing Brad Rasmussen from Ignite. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Okay.